Today's messengers are sensuality, courage, and divine guidance. Good morning and welcome back to The Daily Vitamin, where you get your daily dose of spiritual sweetness. Whew, wow. Um, this is a continuation of yesterday's message. I'm speaking to the person who has been craving, <laughs> I'm just going to put it like this, sensual exploration. You already know what I'm talking about. You already know, you're living it, you're feeling it, you're picking up what I'm laying down. <laughs> you're craving this. And whether you have been in a situation where, you know, maybe, maybe you have chosen or, or made the decision to stay single, stay celibate, just, you know, keep your nose down and focus on your own thing and build up your own empire and not spread yourself in a direction that isn't serving you, which might have included dating or having, you know, physical relationships or friends with benefits or something that uh, would cause you to use energy that, that you actually want to apply to more ambitious ventures, um, that can create, a, a, I don't want to say like an emptiness, but a, a, maybe a lacking, right? Like not having that readily available in your life. You may simply be going through a dry spell. I know many of you just kind of go through dry seasons sometimes where it feels like, you know, is, is spirit blocking me from love? And most of the time, yeah. Most of the time, yeah, there's a reason. There's a reason you're not meeting anyone new. There's a reason there aren't any good candidates <laughs> or any good options on the menu when it comes to interpersonal connections. Um, so you can, you know, be moving through a dry season. Or you could even be in partnership, in relationship, or in a marriage, or in a situation, or situationship, where you're not fulfilled you know maybe there is no maybe you're not sleeping in the same bed or you're not sleeping in the same room or you're not living in the same house or just the the chemistry is off or you don't want the person to touch you because things have gotten so bad and so tense between you that there's like just no passion there's no physical interaction so there's a lot of different reasons why we can find ourselves existing in a state of yearning <laughs> my guides are being silly They're saying yearning for the burning oh i just heard a little confirmation yearning for the burning yearning for that passion that lustful exchange i think i know lust is one of the seven deadly sins but i think in little teeny tiny spoonful doses i think it's okay right just just a little sprinkle here and there i think it's okay in moderation to have that lustiness right you want to lust after your husband you want to lust after your wife or right? you want to want them in that way. So I believe it's healthy in smaller doses. It's when it, it causes you to step out of character. That's when we need to have different conversations. However, I feel like there's a sense here of like wanting to feel young again, wanting to feel fired up, ignited. Maybe you're already feeling inspired and passionately ignited by someone or something, but you just haven't had the opportunity yet, or you haven't had that, you know, <laughs> Ooh, I'm y'all. Okay. I'm seeing racy scenes. I am seeing very racy scenes in my mind's eye. So y'all might be fantasizing. You might be thinking some things. You might be sending some prayers up the pipeline. Be like, please bring this lover to me. Please bring me my man. Bring me my woman, right? Like bring them to me. I want them by my side. I want them in my bed. I want them on my lap, right? <laughs> Whatever it is that you are saying, they're hearing it, right? Like your guys are hearing it. Cause I'm seeing some very, very steamy, heated i think i might be blushing a little bit uh very very steamy steamy things coming through so this energy of sensuality it's it's literally something that you are manifesting right now you are actively manifesting it you're actively calling it into your life so if you're wondering like what well, all of a sudden like why is that handsome man at the grocery store smiling at me or why is that girl at the checkout counter like looking at me a little bit longer than people usually do do it's because You've got this sensuality energy vibing right now. Honey, you're hot. You're hot. You're a hottie patati. Accept it. Accept the full-fledged hottie patati. This is working through you right now. This is working through your energy because you're freaking manifesting it. You're calling it in. And if you haven't had it for a while, okay, I just heard ripe and ready. Honey, you are ripe and ready for this. You are ripe and ready for some, for some very white moments, right? For some love making. But I feel like it's going to take some courage for you to actually like 
make it happen, to accept it, to make yourself available, to maybe step out of your comfort zone. <laughs> right, so, okay, this is embarrassing, but I'm gonna share it with you because it's coming up, it's coming through. So a couple weeks ago, I brought my daughter to the playground and there was this other single dad there with his kids and our kids were getting along great. And all of a sudden there's this moment where I realized like he was standing like face it, he, his eyes were all wide. He had very, very pretty eyes. His eyes were all wide and he's looking right at me. And like, you know, you, a woman knows when a man is about to like, <laughs> I felt it. I felt that he was gonna like ask for something, maybe like spend some time together, ask for my number, do this again, whatever. And everything in me was just like, no. <laughs> just immediately like deflected the conversation and distracted myself and moved away from him. I mean, lovely gentleman probably would have been great, but like, I just wasn't, I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't ready for it. Just didn't see, I don't know. Like everything in my body was just, no. And you know what? I trust that. But there's also a part of me that's a little cowardly. I was <laughs> just like, man, I haven't been in that scene or that setting for a while i'm i'm not even mentally ready to to be there right now like i need to like prime myself and prepare myself right so in that moment it was so surprising to be presented with that opportunity and here's this beautiful man who is about to uh engage in some kind of like you know let's continue our, our conversation at another time you know and maybe over dinner kind of a thing and I just, I freaked out, <laughs> I freaked out and shut down. And I realized later on, I was like, oh, I was, I was being a little scaredy cat. I probably should have opened up to that. But you know, honestly, I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad because that's just, you know, I react how I react. But I feel, <laughs> I'm sharing this embarrassing moment with you. I feel like I'm sharing this, this vulnerability with you because you may be feeling this yourself as well. You know, you might find yourself in an opportunity where there's something being presented to you because we have divine guidance showing up. Okay, so you may be having an opp opportunity presented to you or a person presented to you to basically like, what am I hearing? Get you back in the swing, okay? Like get you back in the swing of things, you know, kind of get you back in that, that groove, back in that mindset. I don't know about y'all, but sometimes I struggle with realizing when someone is flirting with me because I'm just like, everyone's nice or they're not, you know, they're nice or they're not. But it's just like, no, that they were clearly flirting with you. I'm like, oh, oh, okay. You know, hindsight kind of, okay, no, I see it now. Now that I play it back, I see it. <laughs> so maybe, maybe you also struggle with that. Like I do just like, oh, okay, this, this person's flirting with me. Okay, this is an opportunity to like be social, get to know someone. And I feel that God is God, your angels, your guides, your ancestors, all, I'm hearing all the above. This is like an all hands on deck. Even your galactic guardians are getting in on this. All hands on deck to divinely guide you to moments of opportunity and moments of experiences to allow you to step into your courage and let the love in. <laughs> let love in let people close to you right and this sensuality this doesn't necessarily mean like you have to fall into bed with people right away personally that is not how i operate i'm not a big fan of that but i'm not trying to tell you how to live but there's just a sense of you can still have boundaries you can still like maintain that that energetic spatial perimeter but also open up to potential also open up to letting in the love letting in the the vulnerability of another person right allowing yourself to trust and be hopeful and be optimistic and allowing all this to come through I, i'm laughing because i'm saying to my guys right now i'm like today feels like it was more of like a confession session <laughs> rather than the reading but anytime i feel compelled to share this like just softly sensitive behind the scenes stuff with you i really find that it's it's usually relevant to at least one or two of you maybe a few of you so if you have been in that mindset of like, man, I really, I gotta, I gotta put on my, my big girl pants, my big boy pants, and I gotta get back out there and I gotta open myself up to love or I gotta start dating again because I want this partnership. I want this person in my life. I wanna have a, a best friend that I can also make out with. <laughs> Whatever it is that you're wishing, hope, and praying for, based on those super saucy scenes I was seeing at the beginning of the reading, I think you're pretty clear on what you would like. It's just a matter of, getting past the the nerves and the anxiety or the hesitation or the resistance of actually allowing it in so next time someone is you know winking at you smiling at you flirting with you or standing like full body full facing their feet are pointing at you <laughs> you are registering oh this person wants oh, okay they want oh, okay got it i'm they are attracted to me <clears throat> that's what's happening right now they are attracted to me when that happens i want you to remember my sweet soft voice whispering into your ear they like you god okay 
<laughs> Let it in. Let it in. Your angels are giving you the thumbs up. Go for it. <laughs> All right, my lovelies, I'm sending y'all so much love. Hopefully this is helpful. Uh, hopefully you're already experiencing this love and this joy within your life. I would love to, if you want to share, if you also want to be vulnerable, let's share, let's exchange. I'm cool with that. <laughs> Sound off in the comments below and I will see you all tomorrow morning. Bye.